Today, I'm gonna to show you guys an example of how Subaru's RAB setting, which stands for Reverse Automatic Braking, actually works. We're gonna do this on a Subaru Forester. I'm gonna show you the settings here, some common mistakes people make with this feature. And also, we're gonna talk about the RAB settings in all of the other Subarus, because as we've seen, like the Outback, all of the other Subaru models now have that larger touchscreen display, and the settings are a little bit different than they are on the Forester. And I think the settings are different in a good way. So I'll dive into that and more in today's video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos just like this, helping you learn all there is to know about newer Subaru models. So if you have any Subaru related questions, leave those in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you guys learned something new and get value out of this video, please remember to click the like button. That helps me out a ton and I would really appreciate it. There are a few common mistakes that people make with Subaru's RAB system. One common mistake is that they assume that with Subaru's now having all standard forward collision automatic braking that they also have reverse automatic braking standard and that is not the case. This is only an optional package on certain trim levels. So it's optional on the Forester Sport, on the Wilderness Limited and Touring, those become standard features. So be sure that your vehicle has this and definitely don't just test this out. This is for an emergency situation where you might be running into something. But for today's purposes, I'm gonna show you how this works as an example, but it is there on certain trim levels. So be aware if you have specific questions and you're not sure if yours has this or if you're shopping for a Subaru and you're not sure if that trim level has it, leave a comment down below and I can specify and answer that for you and help you find out if it does indeed have RAB, which I'm getting ready to show you. So now I'm gonna put this in reverse and I'm gonna show you guys how this works in practice. If you're ever curious if yours has it, just by a quick look, if you already own a Subaru, it'll show down here in the lower left RAB, it'll be lit up green if it's turned on, and then on the right, the green P icon, that is your sonar alert. So that's just the audible tone it makes whenever you are backing up and getting close to an object. So in this case, we're going to back up here. I'm gonna release the brake. It is a little bit scary doing this, but I've done this plenty of times and I have full confidence that it will work when RAB is activated. So it's pretty abrupt there. It, it does definitely jolt you, but it works as intended. So we'll go ahead and pull forward here a little bit. Now, there are some instances when you'd wanna turn that off. And an example is maybe you have a bike rack on the back. A lot of Subaru owners are bike riders as well. They have a hitch mounted bike rack or something on the back here. And whenever you're backing up, those sensors and that RAB would interfere with that. So that is why Subaru gives you an option to turn it off. Now, we are in a 2024 Subaru Forester. Moving forward, I think this setting is getting ready to change because it's different on all the other Subaru models. But for the Forester, this is how you can turn on and off your RAB. And I'm gonna share some insight on some important things you need to know about that. So RAB, so you can click and hold right here and it grays out and tells you that it's off. The sonar alert grays out and tells you that it's off. So now it will allow us to back up if we have a trailer or a hitch mounted bike rack. Now we've stopped, we're gonna put it in park and let's go ahead and, oh wait, we need to reverse again. We put it in reverse again. You'll notice that RAB is defaulted back on and the sonar alert is going off, which can be incredibly frustrating if you're trying to move forward, back up, pulling in and out of parking spaces. In my eyes, that's probably not the best design for this setting, and I don't know the rhyme or reason why Subaru has the Forester defaulted that way, but that's the way it is. There's also an RAB setting in the center touchscreen display here, or not the touchscreen display, but the center multifunction display, I think is what they call it. So to activate that setting, you'll use these up and down arrows right here. You can go up or down, and then in the center, the I slash set is essentially a select key or trigger. So we're going to use that to cycle down until we get to this menu right here that says pull and hold the I slash set to get into that menu. Now I made a whole in-depth video on this, what I call a secret menu in here. You can click on the YouTube card above if you want to see that in more detail for any of the Subarus that have this style, like the Subaru Forester, the older Crosstrek style, and some of the Imprezas as well. So in the screen setting, so we're going to cycle down. Again, we're using this arrow we're gonna cycle down until we get to where it says RAB. We're gonna use that center trigger for select. And you'll see it has sonar audible alarm. That's that, that's that beeping noise it makes whenever you are backing up and getting close to an object. You can select 
and turn this on or off right here. Now, I've got it turned off. Whenever I put it in reverse, it's going to be off. Now, whenever I go back in park and back to reverse, it's still off. So you would think, okay, well now that system, because I've adjusted the setting there, that's defaulted off, but that's not the case. We're gonna put it back in park. We're gonna shut the engine off and we're gonna open the door just to shut the car down. You'll see the screen turns off. Open this back up, turn it on. And let's see if the sonar alert is still off. So the sonar alert is defaulted back on when the car is reset. So that's that setting here for the sonar alert will only turn that off while the engine is still running and maybe you can continue driving and traveling and you're not having to worry about putting it in park, putting it in reverse and that turning back on. As you can imagine, if your RAB is consistently turning back on and the sonar alert is turning back on automatically and maybe you want that defaulted off for an extended period of time while you're hauling something, that could be inconvenient. So I'm gonna show you guys how this looks on all the other Subaru models. The Subaru Impreza, by the way, is the only one that I've identified that does not have the RAB setting on it. All the other Subaru models moving forward have that larger touchscreen display and the settings are a little bit different in a good way. Now we are sitting in a Subaru with the larger 11.6 inch touchscreen display. All of the Subarus, as I've mentioned, have gradually moved over to this platform. Even the new 2025 Subaru Forester is going to have this platform. So I'm hoping that the settings that I'm getting ready to share with you are also going to be on the newest 2025 model Forester. So what's really nice about this is that whenever you do put it in reverse, you can turn your RAB off. You can turn the sonar alert off. And actually you don't even have to click and hold it anymore. You can just tap now. So you used to have, if you noticed on the Forester, you used to have to click and hold. So that is a lot better. And so now I can put it in park. I can put it back in reverse. That is still turned off. Now put it back in park again. We will turn the engine off. We'll open the door just to get the car to shut down with the screen turning off. And then we will turn it back on. Let's see if our RAB and sonar alert are still turned off. So there we go, it's still turned off. Now you don't have to have both of these turned off. You can have RAB on if you still want the reverse automatic braking feature, or maybe you want that turned off, but you want your audible tone on. You can have those turned on and off independently from one another. You may also notice that this steering wheel on all of the newer Subaru models doesn't have the little triggers over here like we saw on the Forester. You still have the display in the center and you can use these up and down arrows instead to cycle through the menu, but there's no additional settings or adjustments that can be made in here. This is just for information in here. Now to go to your car settings, you click on the settings in the center here, that will load up and you can scroll over to car and you can go in here and you can also turn on and off your reverse automatic braking sonar alarm only. So not the RAB, but just the sonar alarm right here. And so you can turn that on and off. So we'll see, we've just turned it off. We go back here, go back to reverse and you'll see that the sonar is still off. If we go back into settings, go to sonar, turn it on, go into reverse. You'll see that that is back on. Now, this is a lot easier, so I really don't know why Subaru has the, I don't know why they have the setting here. Maybe there's, maybe somebody knows that. And if you do, let me know in the comment section below because I feel like this is redundant and a lot more tedious. But also, if you like going into the settings right here, if you swipe over, you can add shortcuts. I've already done it here, but you can click add shortcut and click on car settings. So you go down here, click on car settings. And what that will do, it's gonna add this as a shortcut and you can move these apps. So you could, you could put this on the home screen if you wanted and say you really, you wanted to get to your car settings very quickly. You can click right there. Your car settings are accessible very quickly and you have more than just the RAB that you can adjust. You can go in here and turn on and off your eyesight system. So that has to do with these cameras up front that control the emergency automatic braking, your lane departure alert, the lane centering, all those features, you can turn those on and off very quickly here with a shortcut. So just a little pro tip there if you wanna be able to quickly get to some of those car settings. All of these RAB settings, how they default off or on, however you last set them, 
appear to be the exact same in all of the other 24 models except for the Forester. So your Ascent, your Legacy, your Cross Trex, those vehicles that also have RAB equipment on them will default just like this, given that they have that same 11.6 inch touchscreen display. And I believe, like I said, I feel quite confident that the 25 Forester is also going to have that same defaulted setting because it's going to have this larger touchscreen display and the newest and latest and greatest for the software update. So now if you are driving, you have your RAB on and maybe now all of a sudden you're going to have your bikes on the back, you can turn this off and you won't have to worry about that defaulting back on until you go in there and manually tap to adjust that setting back on. So an improvement I think for the newer Subarus, definitely much easier and much more user friendly. This setting is incredibly convenient and would certainly help you avoid a big headache by bumping into something, hitting a kid on a bike, whatever it may be when you're backing out of parking spaces or backing out of your driveway, but it can be a huge pain if you live on a really steep driveway. So I've had customers reach out to me and actually have one who's in the process of trying to trade their old Forester in because of that, that defaulted RAB setting on their Forester. They can turn it off right now, but as soon as they restart their car and try to go uh, reverse again out of their driveway, they have to turn that setting off each day. And so that could be really tedious and annoying. So I think that this new update is very welcomed and a lot of people are gonna be happy to know that moving forward, the newer Subarus will have this setting that defaults off or on based on your own personal liking. That about wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to click the like button, comment below with any questions you have. And if you wanna see more helpful Subaru videos, definitely click on this one to the right that one's gonna have a ton of valuable information in it as well. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.